हेलो फ्रेंड्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग गुड एंड आर डूइंग विद योर गुड विद योर स्टडीज एंड स्टडीइंग हार्ड टू क्लियर योर एग्जाम्स आई एम हियर विद अनदर वीडियो रिगार्डिंग एथिक्स व्हिच यू आर डिस्कसिंग इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई डिस्कस अबाउट द फंडामेंटल कोड ऑफ एथिक्स and ipoc that was uh, integrity objectivity professional competence and due care professional behavior and confidentiality uh, that was uh, those were the very key components as far as ethics is concerned uh, today we will uh, move further and uh, we will discuss what are basically the threats what are basically the threats uh that an auditor face uh, during the course of the audit and uh, how to mitigate or uh, reduce those threats uh, we will be discussing today in this video if you haven't watched my previous video you can go to watch that uh, video uh, from my youtube channel so let's start uh uh threats and safeguards a firm must establish procedures to identify threats first of all a firm must identify what are their what are their threats in the form of um, means threats can vary with the situation uh, there could be self interest threat there could be self review threat there could be familiarity threat etc so firm must identify which threat is there after that firm must assess the severity or significance of those threats that uh, how much the threat is uh, compromising the opinion how much the threat is compromising the independence of an auditor are you getting my point so uh, first you uh, the firm must identify an auditor a external auditor firm must identify the threats secondly they assess the severity or the significance of the threats and in last apply safeguard if necessary either to eliminate the threat or reduce the threat to an acceptable level uh, if you will identify the threat then you will see identify the severity of the threat then you can apply the safeguards as well so these were uh, the threats and safeguards Uh, most common threats uh, that we will be discussing in our uh, paper number one is self interest threat that we will be discussing later in this video self review threat uh, familiarity intimidation and one more uh, that we will be discussing here uh, later in this video so let's start with uh, discussing the threats so yes the number one and the most common one is self interest threat uh, as the name suggests self interest if an external auditor has some uh, self interest somewhere do, uh, during the course of the audit then it can compromise their independence or objectivity so the number one uh, example of the self interest threat is owning shares if uh, someone from uh audit firm as shares of the client if you for example if ty is auditing uh pso and if someone um uh, senior from the ey team or from ey if from ey uh, owning shares in the pso then it might compromise the independence or objectivity of uh, that member of the team or the firm so yeah this is a this is a example of self interest threat because he must have uh, some interest and he must have some soft corner because uh, he has done investment in that uh, pso so you can say that uh, it could be a self interest threat so there are certain safeguards that uh, that could reduce uh, for example uh, you could uh, remove that member from the audit team that is auditing uh, the pso right next one is fee dependency for example if uh, ey is uh, auditing pso and uh, 
uh, and charging huge amount of fee and that might uh, be uh, uh, the major proportion of their uh, whole revenue so in that case uh, eva is uh, uh, very much dependent upon pso because they are charging high amount uh, from pso so and their major revenue is coming from pso so that you can see that uh, they are dependent over pso and uh, they might compromise their and it could result in self interest rate so yes we were discussing p dependency the next one is the gifts and hospitality hospitality is basically if uh, someone from the audit firm or uh, from the client let's take an example of pso again if someone uh, from the higher management of pso uh, if giving gifts to the auditors or let's say the partner uh, because it is a very high and prominent position in audit firm so that can compromise the independence of that partner or the auditing firm while giving an opinion over the financial statements of pso so gifts and his, his hospitality is a uh, huge threat or you can say self interest threat uh, remember uh, one example can hit more than one threat like uh, gifts and hospitality can also be a familiarity threat uh, so no not just uh, it's a self interest threat but it is also a familiarity threat because uh, obviously uh, if you have if you are taking gifts and hospitality from your client you might have you number one you will be uh, under the radar of self interest threat other than that you will be uh, facing the familiarity threat as well because of the soft corner uh, with the client next one is loans if you have taken loans and you are doing audits of the banks uh, audit of the bank so in that case you might have a soft corner as well and it could result in self interest threat next the business and personal relationships if someone from your family is working on a client and you are do, doing the audit of the same client then it could result in a personal relationship uh, it would be a personal relationship so in that case uh, there could be a self interest threat and you uh, your objective independence could be compromise in that case you have to apply safeguards the business relationships it could be business relationships as well if there are certain uh, um mous you can say uh, between the firm and the client uh, of uh, making certain profits and driving you by doing businesses together or might be the member of the uh, higher management of the client and the member of your senior executive management of your firm as well having some business relationship uh, other than the firm and the client relationship so in that case uh, again there will be a self interest threat next one is employment with the client uh, for example there are safeguards as well employment with the client if you are in a firm and going to the client uh, in which you were the uh, in which you were uh, the part of the audit team so in that case uh, there would be a self interest threat because uh, the audit team might be compromising their independence because you are more familiar uh, with the audit team so in that case uh, there could be a soft corner you might compromise uh, your objectivity next one is overdue fees uh, overdue fees uh, again uh, it will hit two uh, it will hit two threats like self interest and intimidation as well because if if you have a overdue fees uh, and client have not paid overdue fees then it could result in uh, self interest rate you your obviously might compromise right uh, overdue fee, fees could also result in intimidation as well next one is contingency fees contingency fees is basically if uh, your fees uh, is dependent upon for example some contingency like on uh, certain profits on certain revenues that client have to achieve in order to uh, in that case uh, you you would be more likely uh, be looking at the future of the client so in that case it is a self interested again uh, it would be like uh, you might compromise objectivity again because you would have a 
interest now in the profits and revenue of the uh, of your client so in that case uh, contingency fees uh, in case of contingency fees self interest rate uh, would be uh, would occur next one is litigation with the client if some litigation with the client then again self interest rate there would be a self interest rate next we are moving forward there is a self interest rate self interest rate is basically uh, something that you your firm has done and now you are going over audit and uh, reviewing the same thing that your team or the audit team, uh, audit firm has done that means you are reviewing your own work uh like accounts preparation internal audit your firm has done accounts preparation you have prepared uh accounts for the client and now your firm is going to audit those accounts similarly in internal audit and tax competition uh, you you have a same uh, uh means uh for example eva is the internal audit uh, internal auditors of pso and uh, also the external audit of pso in that case what will happen pso would be doing the internal audit and doing the same external audit as well so in that case uh, self you would be and that is why there are safeguards that a uh, same audit firm cannot do the same like internal audit and external audit uh, for the same client i get in my point next one is tax competitions if tax competition you are doing the tax competition and reviewing uh, for example you are working in is 12 uh, so if you are working on is 12 doing external audit and your team your firm's audit team uh, your firm's uh, other assignment team has done tax computation for the client or pso so in that case again there would be a self review thread because you will be reviewing those tax computation that has been done by your team next one is valuation services uh if your team has your audit firm team has done valuation for the pso or some client and you are reviewing that then again that would be the self review thread next one is client join client staff joins the audit firm means now in that case if someone from your client uh, for example someone from pso is joining ey obviously he was working with a pso now he is in the team of the ey and going over the external audit of pso so uh, he will be doing his own work he will be uh, might be there were uh, he was preparing financial statements at pso now he is going to do so in that case obviously he might not uh, identify mistakes uh, because he has prepared uh, those financial statements so there are certain safeguards to avoid this type of self review threat are you getting my point so that was a self review threat moving forward further uh, familiarity threat long association if you uh, if pso is a client from 10 years with the ey and there is a long association so there might be some relationship personal relationships and um, there would be some gifts and hospitality if there could be some gift and so family to threat would occur movement of staff between the firm and the client uh, if there is a long association then it could be uh, it would hit familiarity threat because uh, might be pso is the same uh, is a client of for 10 years like i said uh, there would be some personal relationship because there would be friendships uh, between the uh, audit team members and the client staff Uh, there could be uh, some rotation as well because uh, if you will when you will uh, go practically uh, you might uh, the client might be hiring some staff because they are experts in audit so they might be hiring some staff from ey so in that case like i have taken the example of pso in that case uh, there could be a family chat because uh, there would be friendship with the audit team as well uh, the guy going over the pso from the ey there might be friendship with the uh, there is still might be friendship with various other guys that is is still at ey so in that case that would be the case of familiarity threat right? gift and hospitality like i have discussed already uh, um, will hit not just familiarity threat right? it would also hit uh, self interest threat right? as well so these were the examples of familiarity threat right? hope you are 
understanding everything intimidation fee dependency i have already discussed not discussing again personal relationships again it would also get intimidation as well or it part i leave to join client uh, audit partner because it's a um, it's a higher position within the firm so if audit partner leaves to join the client then again it is an intimidation threat because uh, your own guy uh, is working now at your client so it would create an intimidation threat or sim maybe the family threat as well so like i said uh, uh one example might hit more than one or two or three uh threats litigation with the client is a similar example that we discussed earlier last but not the least is advocacy threat means uh, if you are advocating the client representing the client promoting the client negotiation negotiating on behalf of the client or advertising for the client or promoting um, their brand or promoting their brand image then in that case it is called as advocacy threat so these were the threats that we have discussed uh, we have not discussed their safeguards yet i will be discussing their safeguards in my uh, next video hopefully you have understood everything uh, i will be with a new video very soon um, till then goodbye uh, keep sharing my video like share and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, thank you so much goodbye